O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We adore you, Lord Jesus. First John chapter 4 verse 8 says, Whoever does not love does not know God. For God is love. In the imitation of Christ, Book 2, Chapter 7 says, Blessed is he who appreciates what is to love Jesus and who despises himself for the sake of Jesus. Give up all other love for his, since he wishes to be loved alone above all things. Affection for creatures is deceitful and inconstant, but the love of Jesus is true and enduring. He who clings to a creature will fall with his frailty, but he who gives himself with Jesus will ever be strengthened. Love him, then keep him as a friend. He will not leave you as others do or let you suffer lasting death. Sometimes, whether you will or not, you will have to part with everything. Cling, therefore, to Jesus in life and Trust yourself to the glory of Him who alone can help you when all others fail. In order to love Jesus, we need the help of Mother Mary. Through devotion to Blessed Virgin Mary, 257 to 266, there are some very sanctifying interior practices for those souls who feel called by the Holy Spirit to a high degree of perfection. They may be expressed in four words, doing everything through Mary, with Mary, in Mary, and for Mary, in order to do it more perfectly through Jesus with Jesus, in Jesus, and for Jesus. Through Mary, we must do everything through Mary, that is, we must obey her always and be led in all things by her Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit of God. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God, says St. Paul. Those who are led by the Spirit of Mary are the children of Mary, and consequently, children of God. Among the many servants of Mary, only those who are truly and faithfully devoted to her are led by her spirit. I have said that the spirit of Mary is the spirit of God because she was never led by her own spirit but always by the spirit of God who made himself master of her to such an extent that he became her very spirit. That is why Saint Ambrose says, May the soul of Mary be in each one of us to glorify the Lord. 
May the Spirit of Mary be in each one of us to rejoice in God. With Mary, we must do our actions with Mary. That is to say, we must in all our action regard Mary as an accomplished model of every virtue and perfection which the Holy Spirit has formed in a pure creature for us to imitate according to our little measure. We must therefore in every action consider how Mary has done it or how she would have done it. Had she been in our place, for that end, we must examine and meditate the great virtues which she practiced during her life, and particularly, first of all, her lively faith, by which she believed without hesitation, and the angel's word, and believed it faithfully and constantly up to the foot of the cross. Secondly, her profound humility, which made her hidden herself, hold her peace, submit to everything, and put herself the last of all. Thirdly, her altogether divine purity, which never has had and never can have its equal under heaven and so on with all her other virtues. Today I would like to pray for each and every one of you who are participating in this holy adoration. We pray for all those people who are sick, who are suffering, who need our special prayers. We pray for the departed souls from our families. We pray for all those people who are promoting Marian devotion. We pray for all those people who are consecrating themselves to Jesus through Mary. Queen of Grace, pray for us. Queen of Grace, intercede for us. Queen of Grace, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation one for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 